Okay, Craig Ship, CraigShip.com. Just got back from an event and I'm going to process the photos and video clips. I just launched Aperture and I have the Compact Flash uh, card, the CF card, out of the uh, Nikon D700. And I just pushed it in. And we're going to import those photos. And while I'm doing that, grabbing the Sony NEX VG10. And I'm also launching program Final Cut Pro and I will import the video clips from the VG10 first and then I will import the video clips from my NEX7 after that then I will bring in the audio clips from the Zoom H1 and then once I have all my media imported into this Mac Pro machine then I will be able to start putting some things together. Start going through some photos and putting together a video. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this process started and I'm going to show you my workflow when I get back from an event. Just got back from Bruns Brunswick Veterans Day and iPhoto wants this so we can't do that. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this one Brunswick Veterans Day Two thousand thirteen. Copy that so that I have it. And five hundred and fifty photos. I'm going to go ahead and import those in. And now, while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the camera. Let's pull Final Cut Pro over onto this monitor so you can see it. Pull Final Cut Pro over, and, and um, hopefully it'll handshake now with the Sony NEX VG10 and bring up an import window so that I'll be able to import those photos. Giving it a moment to do that. If it doesn't do it, I'll try here. Import media. Try to bring the window up that way. Here we go. Okay, so here's the... Um, Yeah, it's loading in the um, camera's called no name. I guess it's loading in the clips or prepping them to load. A lot of clips I shot today, so it's taking a little while. Th these are coming in via the USB 2.0, so it'll be nice when we when everything's USB 3.0 and everything will be faster. The Firewire 800 photos came into Aperture already; they're already finished importing. So while this is getting ready to import, I'm going to drag it over. Well, we'll go ahead and let it do its thing. You can see this too. Brunswick Veterans Day, and you can go to brunswickveteransday.com. You'll be able to see the finished products all there. Okay, so here's all the clips. I'm going to say import all. And again, I'm going to name this event Brunswick Veterans Day 2013. Oh, VET, that's misspelled. I'm going to fix that. V E T E R A N S. There we go. So <clears throat> I'm going to import all of those. And this, considering the number of clips I have, this will probably take about five minutes to import this media. So while it's doing that, I'm going to take a short break and uh, get something to drink. And then I'll be back. These things will be 
pretty much ready to go. So we'll take a short, short break here. Okay, so the clips are coming in and I've now got aperture here on the screen. And I've got, um, uh, so I'll pull Final Cut Pro over. Here's Final Cut Pro. I just had it over on my other monitor. They're 17% imported. It's only been about probably two minutes. Uh, and so while they're importing, I'll go ahead and go into my project here, Brunswick Veterans Day. And what I do is I go to the first photo and I go into this mode here where I can rapidly go through the photos and get rid of the photos that I don't want. And so I tried to get them in the shade and this photo just didn't work out. So here we have them in the full light. That gentleman's eyes are closed and there, well I guess he's kind of squinting. Um, gentleman on the right. I guess that's as good as we can do. This is why I don't like to take photos in, in hard sunlight because people tend to squint. But it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and keep keep one of those. Um, this is just to show the patriotic theme of what we got going on. And I took several of these. So this will make a good animated GIF when Google does its thing. That's usable the way it is. And what I'll do is I will flag photos that I want to delete. And I'll do any minor edits here to any photos that I want to edit. And in the adjustments here, if I do need to like brighten something up just a little bit, you know, I can do it right here. You notice I take a lot of duplicates just in case somebody is looking funny or whatever. Of course, you couldn't, wouldn't be able to tell if he had his eyes closed. Again, I got these people to try try to get them in the shade a little bit and it helped out and we got some nice colors behind them and here's another series of those flags And I kind of like that series better than the previous one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take out the previous ones and go back to them. Here they are. And I'm going to get rid of these because I like the second series better. The lighting was a little bit better on the second series and I think the framing was even a little bit better. Okay, so now I can go forward past all these. Okay, and then here we got the cheerleader photos. Now here again, I tried to get them in the shade as best I could. And this will be the good picture for the whole group. And what I do is I take a series of pictures so that then I can, first of all, make sure all their eyes are open. And then I can zoom in and do some, her eyes are closed on the, on the left. So what I'll do is I'll do this group on the right like this. So so they'll have a closer up, you know, that they can tag on Facebook or whatever. And this one, the young lady's eyes are open again. And so I'll go ahead and do these people on the on the left. And again, that'll give them something that they can use on Facebook to share with their friends and so on and and help hopefully virally promote all this coverage. Here they are getting ready. That one's not that great. That one's not that great. Not that great. Bob Miller, WFMD. They're squinting a little bit, but it is what it is.
not that good of her, but it is what it is. Add a little bit of contrast to that, soften it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and crop in on on these two a little bit. Make a little portrait out of that for them to use. And let's do another crop on this one, a little bit different crop, like about like that. And this one, they wanted him, but he's terribly shadowed. Um, I should have used a fill flash on that one. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that photo. I'm not keeping that. I don't like that photo either. Okay, of these, I'm going to use the third one. And I'm going to crop that one in a little bit. About right like that. That one I'll go ahead and keep. Keep that one. A little bit of contrast on that one. Same thing. The reason I take a number of pictures of the same thing, again, Google's going to make a um, animated GIF out of this. They're auto awesome. So why not have it? You're going to see the flags moving in the animated GIF. And this young lady will do just a little bit of touch up on. I don't do this very often, but we'll just do a little bit here. Um, do a little bit of skin smoothing. And we'll do um, I want to do a touch up here. Let me see here. Um, Come I'm not seeing it. Should be under quick brushes. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of a retouch here. And okay. better and um, get rid of these two go ahead and keep that okay and 
One thing I didn't like about this is the Johnny on the spot in the background, but this is really the only place I could get them to stand. I didn't have enough time to reposition them. So again, the same thing as before, I'm going to do a couple of tight crops to um, so that they'll have these to show a little bit more who's there. The wide shot is okay to set the mood, but you really can't see any detail. So we do a couple of shots like that to um, give them the detail, and then we'll do one more wide to, to wrap it up. Okay. And the parents will have something decent to um, remember the day by. Let's do a few more here, this time in thirds. It's about a third of them. Try not to split somebody in the in the head, split somebody in two. Okay, so that's a third. And then this will be the center third. Okay. And this will be the right third. Uh, a third there. Shame we had that one taller guy there throwing it off a little bit. Okay. All right. And that'll do it for them. Delete those two. Add a little contrast to that one. Yeah, that's a nothing photo. I think the go ahead and keep the third one here, add a little bit of contrast to that. Again, the ones I'm flagging, I'm going to be deleting. Okay, the first batch of movies clips has been imported into Final Cut Pro, so now I'm going to get my NEX 7. Okay, now here's another sequence of photos that um, will make a great animated GIF. And um, so what I'm going to do on these is I'm just going to give them a little bit extra contrast. And I'll do that same thing to each of them. A little bit. And this should make a really cool animated GIF when um, Google does its auto awesome thing. And what I was doing here is I was shooting Continuous autofocus at f4, and somehow that one, that one did not nail focus. That's okay, that's okay. When you're doing continuous autofocus, you need to make sure that you've got the camera pointed on the subject, because if it focuses on the wall in the back, then you're, that isn't going to work. that one. Now 
Ah, shame his eyes were closed. That's a shame. That would have been a good shot. We'll go ahead and keep that one. Yeah, I can't tell it is. I'll get rid of that. Go ahead and crop in on that a little bit. He might want that for his Facebook page. Take the second of the two. Again, this will make a good animated GIF, possibly. One of the VIPs at the event. Always good to have a nice shot of one of the VIPs. That one I don't particularly care for. I'm going to don't like that expression there. That's better. We'll keep that one with him kind of looking down. I got some better ones of this later, I think. And his eyes are closed. That's better. And Blaine wanted one of his taxi. Close that. Go ahead and crop in on that. And there's a good one of Blaine driving it. See if we can salvage this, something out of that photo. What I'll do on the second one here is I'll brighten it up. So we'll have two of these. Okay, so now I'm bringing in the audio clips, and I had several audio clips, one of which was the main part of the ceremony, and then a couple of clips of the elementary school students singing. And those are a little bit low. They weren't singing very loud, but they hopefully will be usable. So I've just trimmed off the portions that I don't need. Here we got to trim this. Okay, and so I'm going to export this. And I'm going to call this ES1 for elementary school.
And then I'll bring in the next clip for them, them singing the second song. And I'm going to say new sound document and bring in the third clip into this one. And then these were these were recorded on the Zoom H1. Okay, here we go. I guess Bob and never going to use that. Figure out how much I need to trim off the front here. That's a really great job, and we're okay. So I'm going to trim it right here. This will be the closing comments, I believe. That's a really great job, and we're about ready to wrap up our show here. It's almost time for the people who didn't set their clocks back an hour to show up. For the <laughs> okay, so I'm going to denoise this one. Denoise, multiband denoising, just using the default here. <clears throat> that. That's a really great job, and we're about ready to wrap up our show here. It's almost time for the... Okay, so that cut down the noise a little bit on that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to call this um, audio 2, because that's the second part of the ceremony, audio. And then what I'm going to try to do is split apart the audio for the elementary school because they sang two songs and I want to try to separate those. So let me close this window. And this is the this is the elementary school here. So let me find where they end this song. Okay, so that's the end of the first song. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is see if I can see if I can save the selection. I don't know if I can do that. I'm just learning Amadeus Pro here. So so selection save selection as perfect. So save selection as um, ES1. Okay, so that's perfect. That's what I want that to be is ES1 and save. It'll ask me if I want to replace. Actually it's not. I don't know what it's doing there. Okay. So then I want the other section starts about right here I think. Whoops. About right here. How come I can't skip to there? Huh. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to start there. Go from there. Oh, wait. We got part of that other one selected. How's that? So, right from there to the end of the clapping. All right, so I'm going to export this part, save selection as, and I'm going to call this ES2, Elementary School 2, save. Okay, so that should give me the soundtracks that I need. Now, the other thing I need to do is I need to combine together these three tracks so that I have one track of all of the audio. So I'm going to work on that and see what we've got. Okay, so now what I've done is I've got 
all the audio tracks together. So let me check here. That's a really great job, and we're about ready to wrap up our show here. It's almost... Okay, so let's try to check this transition. <laughs> Again, they were singing kind of low, so that's why they're not very loud, but... It's a lot better than nothing. Okay, so now I've got all the audio combined into one. Um, let's see how long this is. Um, it looks like it's about 50 minutes. And uh, Bob Miller is from WFMD, the morning mayor there, and Chip. G yeah, it looks like it's going to be about 55 minutes long. <clears throat> it's supposed to be an hour long ceremony, so that makes sense. So now I'm going to try to export this. <clears throat> And this time I'm going to call this Brunswick Veterans Day 2013 Audio All. Save. Okay, so let's check this out. It's going to combine them all into one track, which is exactly what I want. <clears throat> and we're going to see what we've got here. Okay, so now while that's doing its export, I'm going to bring Final Cut Pro over here. And I'm going to create a new project called Brunswick Veterans Day 2013. Okay, and I think I'm going to start out with the performance by the band here. There we go. I think I'm going to start lead with this. And again, the audio comes in a little bit hot out of the VG10, so I'm going to say a negative 3 dB here. Let's see what we've got. One, two, ready. Okay, I can use this and I'll do some cutaways and so forth. Now what I'm doing, <laughs> excuse me, here is I am creating some a soundtrack basically and but before I get to that I'm going to double check the audio file just finished exporting from Amadeus I'm going to make sure that that audio file is okay and then get it started on an upload up to SoundCloud so stand by okay so I'm going to go ahead and um, and start uploading the the audio all sound file here it is and it's 69 megabytes. It's an MP3. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Tags. And I'll just call it Brunswick. Okay. Veterans Day. Okay, so we'll go ahead and that's uploading very fast, and then I'll get a thumbnail for that later. So we get back to the Final Cut Pro. <clears throat> and I also had some bands that I shot that I can use the audio from. So let me try to find them. Actually, maybe we should go right to the kids from here. Um, so here's a short clip. Them. Here's song one. And here's song two. So let me see what that audio sounds like.
both of these in. I'm afraid I'm going to have to use this audio because the, the audio from the Zoom was pretty low. But let me go ahead and bring them in here. Um, and I'll go ahead and bring in Brunswick. Um, I can't see which one is which here. The names were too long. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay, Brunswick Elementary School, ES1. And ES2. Okay, so I'm going to import these two. And I'll go ahead and, and sync the audio up just to see, because I can choose which, which of the two to use once I sync them. So here's so song one here. And then I've got to find the audio. I don't know where it put it. Maybe put it down at the bottom. Oh, it's still bringing it in. <clears throat> okay. Here they are. Huh. Okay. So this one. So I'm going to go ahead and synchronize clips. All right. So it's creating a synchronized clip. I'll let that complete. I don't like to interrupt that while it's doing its thing. OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and create another synchronized clip of this one. synchronized clips and then it puts both synchronized clips at the end so I go down to the end here whoops and there's going to be the two synchronized clips so I'll go ahead and put this one in the timeline and this one in the timeline okay And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to break apart the clip items. So under clip, there's an option to break apart clip items. So that breaks apart the synced audio. Okay, and I'll do work on the first clip first. So first, what I want to do is compare the two two audio clips. So if I we already know what what the main one sounds like. So if I zero out if I zero out the VG10 audio and then boost this one up a little bit, let's see what we would have. Skip ahead a little bit to the quieter area here. And see what's here. Okay, so let's see where this starts here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these clips here. I'm going to go ahead and leave it, leave that audio zeroed out from the VG10. And I'm going to do a new compound clip. <clears throat> combine those together. Bam. Okay, that's done. And then let's take a look at this second clip here. We'll go to clip, break apart clip items. 
So now I can see my audio is separate. Let's see here. Okay, so we can trim off this front part of the video clip here so it matches up with the audio. Okay, so now I'm going to zero out the audio from the VG10 and I'm going to bump up the audio from the from the um, H1. Okay, so that's good. We can go ahead and go with that. Let's make sure we trim it at the right place here. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim the audio clip here to about the right length here. And, and then I'm going to go ahead and lower the clapping a little bit lower the uh, audio on the clapping to negative, let's say, five. Let's see here. Okay, so that's good. All right, so now I'm going to combine these clips together. And again, right mouse click, make another compound clip. <clears throat> now all those clips are together. All right. And let's try let's put that ending again. Okay, sounds pretty good. All right, so try this level here. Okay, I need to I need to lower the clapping on this section here. Okay. okay, made that a little bit more tolerable. Now I'm going to do the same thing in here. I'm going to lower this just a little bit. Let's see here. lower that just a little bit in that section there a little bit and then same thing over here just gonna lower that a little bit and through there okay Okay, so all that audio is done. So now I've got some more marching bands that I can use for audio. Again, I'm getting my bass audio here. Oh, that's the wrong event. <laughs> okay. There's one of the band, the local band, that I want to include for sure. Okay, that can be a cutaway. There's one of them performing that I want to keep. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and put that in. And I think there's another one further down. And again, this is the local band, so I'm trying to really feature them if I can. Hmm, maybe I didn't have another one of them. Thought sure I did.
Well, if I run across it, I'll throw it on the end. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the audio down on this one a little bit. Check that clip out here. Okay, so wait, we had silence here. What happened here? What happened to the audio? Uh-oh. Why did we lose audio here? Okay, one thing I forgot to do in my haste is export these photos. So first thing I need to do is I need to select the flagged photos and delete them. Okay, and then I need to go back to all photos. And, and now, actually, I don't think I went through all these. Um, let me just make sure. Okay. Remember this. Okay, so let me just blast through these real quick, make sure I got them all. Um, yeah, I don't think I got these. Um, so. Again, this is going to make a good uh, animated GIF when uh, Google does its thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep this one. Let's see what this one looks like if I crop it. Yeah, she might want that one 10 years from now. Be another GIF, another red, white, and blue GIF. Another one. Ah, that one, the flag's in the wrong spot for sure. We can make that one work. Again, this will be another animated GIF with her doing her thing. Okay, that won't be a good gift because there's no conclusion on it, so we'll just keep that one profile shot of her. This one should work as a gift. Let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we'll keep those. And that, and that that one there was a little bit soft. That one's still usable. Okay. Again, this sequence here should make a very good animated GIF. See him saluting. And the train keeps getting closer. <clears throat> Same thing here, this will make a good animated GIF.
And again, I was using continuous autofocus on the driver. Again, another good animated GIF. This one, again, should make a good animated GIF. This is why I'm not cropping this, because I want the framing to remain consistent so that the GIF should work out. Okay, now that one's out of focus. That one right there. Kill that one. Kill that one. And when you're doing these, you got to make sure to keep the focus point right on the subject because if it, if it slips and it it'll focus on the wall behind. If you have it on continuous autofocus. It's a downside to continuous autofocus. Same thing here. This will make a good GIF. And here I plan on using a couple of these on the home page of BrunswickVeteransDay.com. A couple of these GIFs. That's the neat thing about the GIF is you can just put it on there and it'll just keep doing its thing. Again, I'm just making sure that the pictures are reasonably sharp so that when they convert them into the GIF, they'll look pretty decent for these multiple shots here. I'm going to get these photos finished so that I can start the upload process on them so that while I'm editing the video the um, photos can be uploading. Okay, eyes closed there. We'll get rid of that one. Shame they were so shaded. I'll go ahead and keep one of those. I guess. Yeah, I'll get rid of both of those. Yeah, that'll make an eye right animated gift and things up with. And the last one here, I'll, add, I'll bump the exposure up just a little bit on her. And a little bit of contrast. There. We have a good wrap up, wrap up photo. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to this particular project and select the flagged ones and get rid of them. Okay, so now my photos are processed, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them <clears throat> and export them. Um, and I'll export them as JPEGs. And let me delete out those photos that are in my storage folder one, just so that I don't have to worry about uploading those two. Normally I would have already cleared this out, but. That was some other project I was working on for Dan McDermott. Oops, Control A. Move the trash. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put these in that folder, the original size, 450 items. So while those are exporting into that folder, which will only take a jiffy, I will go back to my editing here. <clears throat> And let me see if there's anything else I want to put in 
any other clips. I already used that one. Okay, so let me do this. Let me go back to the beginning. Here's the very beginning. One, two, ready, and... Okay, to bring you up to date, what I've done is I've edited out the rest of the video and I'll be exporting it soon. Right now I'm batch uploading the photos to Flickr. I'm also uploading them to Picasa Web Album, which is Google Plus, same thing. And I'm going to upload them to Facebook as well. And here I have to upload 200 and then 200 more like that because they only let you do 200 at a time. But that's fine. I can put them in. I can put them in a set. All the photos, 400 plus, whatever it is, in one set. But you can only upload 200 at a time. I think Facebook might also have a limit on how many you can upload at a time. I'm not 100% sure on that. I normally don't go over 200 photos, though. So. Well, let's go to Facebook and try it here. Okay, so they're uploading. I'm going to take a little break and get a little bite to eat, and then we'll check back on this. Okay, so the upload to Picasa is complete. <clears throat> so I can close the Web Albums uploader. And it looks like the Facebook upload is continuing. Uh, or it may not be, it may have crashed. Looks like Shockwave Flash has crashed. What does that mean? Achtung, SMS von der Ostfront. Achtung, SMS. Okay, I'm uploading my next batch of 200 photos to Flickr. And then there'll be a few more after this that I ha still have to upload. And then I'll have them all up to Flickr. And Facebook seems like it's still making progress, so maybe we're going to be successful with that upload, even though it says Shockwave Flash has crashed. Um, we'll keep an eye on that. So, so far I definitely have them all up on Picasa. I'm uploading now some more to Flickr. And it's 7.23 p.m. I've had dinner. Um, the video, just to recap here on the video, um, it's all been edited and it's all ready to be uploaded. As soon as the photos are finished uploading, I'll start uploading this. But let's take a look and see. I stabilized some of these clips and so forth, and let's look and see what they look like. And I'm going to mute my mic so that you don't hear the feedback this time. A.com. Away clips, how they've been stabilized, they look pretty good.
the wind noise being picked up by the mic, but I had the um, redhead windscreen on it. It did a pretty good job. Stabilization looks like it worked pretty good on those cutaway shots. They're looking pretty stable. Again, I didn't stabilize these, these main shots, just the cutaways. up a little wind noise in that mic but not bad considering it was really breezy really some gusts of probably 20 25 miles an hour times and they were singing really soft that's why the mics you know aren't picking them up that great they really were singing soft
Sound transition up, you can see here where now all of a sudden it transitions better. Got it to climb up like that a little bit better. Okay, so let's go and. <laughs> I'm making sure none of these clips need to be stabilized. Check out, check these cutaways here. I think we're good. I think we can export this puppy. So take this over on the other monitor here and get that export started. It says it's going to be 2.48 gigabytes. So I'll go ahead and export that onto my desktop and then I can upload that to YouTube. Upload 200 photos. Oh, I thought that was already happening. What's happening here? Okay. So we're going to see if we've got a successful upload to Flickr here. And see if we got them all yet. I don't think we do. I think we still have a few more to upload. I normally don't upload quite this many, but this is a big event, and so I did. So this is 1757. So let's go to Upload. And let's see here. One seven. Here we go. One seven five eight. 
two down here. Let's upload this batch. 50 more photos. So yeah, it looks like we ended up with 450 photos. I guess that's what it was. So while this is uploading, let's check and see what we got on Flickr. Flickr's almost done. I mean, uh, Flickr, I mean Facebook. See the progress bar there at the bottom? It's almost finished uploading. So we'll see if it uploaded all of them or not when it finishes. So we'll just pause this until that finishes. Looks like it's close. Okay, so Flickr just finished up and it looks like they did successfully upload all the photos to Flickr. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead to the Organize section of Flickr. And I'm going to select the photos that were uploaded today. November 3, 450 photos. So do a select all on them. Okay, and then I'm going to add them to a set. Brunswick Veterans Day 2013. I don't have a shortcut in Text Expander for that URL, so I'm going to get one now. I'm going to make one under URLs. And I'm going to do a new snippet. BrunswickVeteransDay.com. Okay, good. And the label is, and the shortcut is Brunswick Veterans Day COM. Like that. Okay. So, so I'll say for video, C. BrunswickVeteransDay.com. Okay. And what's a good representative photo to be up there? Let's do one of these guys on the Jeep up there. And arrange photos. I'm going to do oldest first. So the first photos that I took. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to save that. Actually, I forgot to put them in their groups, but I'll do that next. I'll do that after this is saved. Okay, then I'll put this in Frederick County Events. And I don't think I have, yeah, I do have one for Brunswick. I'll put it in there. And then I'm going to go back to Batch organize and send these to the group and I'm going to send them to Frederick events because Frederick is really I mean Frederick County so it's all of Frederick County and this is in Frederick County so while that's posting to there I'll pause this one more time okay so now I'm completing the upload of photos to Facebook and I've got to change these to public for some reason it defaulted to only me usually it stays on public but to fix that meanwhile if we go back to uh, the name name tagging Definitely not going to have time to do all of this. Um, so I will skip that for now. 
and I gotta edit who can see this, make it public. Okay, and let's see if we go into the edit mode, if I can define which one is going to be the, the cover picture. Let's find, let's go ahead and make that it. Make that the album cover. Whoops, there's the video. Um, whoops, make album cover. There we go. And let's go ahead and tag that one with Kelly's name. Just so, so that'll start the ball rolling on everybody finding these things. So say done. And actually, let's go ahead and tag. Um, let's go back into the edit mode again. And let's tag uh, Blaine Young. Yeah, that's a bit good one of Blaine. Okay. So let's go ahead and save that. Okay, so the video is ready. For an audio recording of the entire ceremony, go to BrunswickVeteransDay.com. BrunswickVeteransDay.com. I'm just going to skip through, make sure everything's here. Looks like it's all there, ready to be uploaded. So now we can upload the video. So what I'll do is I'll go to YouTube. And uh, I'm going to reload this page. Shockwave crashed for some reason. I don't know why. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and upload the video. And it's on the desktop here somewhere. Brunswick Veterans Day. That's the movie right there. It ended up being 1.74 gigabytes once it was uh, exported. And I'll go ahead and put in the description and all that later once it successfully uploads. I don't want to um, jinx myself. Okay, and I'll get a thumbnail, custom thumbnail and all that. Um, and then I'll be ready to distribute all the content. I'll be able to put the article up on Frederick.com with the embedded video once it's processed. I'll be able to upload the video next to Facebook. Also straight from Final Cut Pro is an upload option to Facebook. And um, I'll be on my way. It's 7.57 p.m. here. And um, so that's about 8 o'clock. So basically it's been less than four hours. And I had a lunch break, a dinner break, I mean. and. Um, not bad. I can do it faster sometimes, but um, not bad. And this content will be up there permanently promoting the event. That's an annual event. And it'll be a trip down memory lane for folks that were there. And so it's all good. So I guess that's it for this broadcast, craigship.com. That's kind of uh, how I make the sausage. Hope you enjoyed it.